um don't mind my skin i'm literally breaking out really bad but look at my hair isn't that so pretty anyways like i was saying um it's currently 5 a.m right now i start school at 7 i don't even know what i have to do all i know is that it's gonna use like zoom or whatever i don't even know what i'm supposed to be doing i literally don't even know like how does that work but we're gonna be figuring out together so my skin has been breaking out really bad and i'm not sure why mostly around my forehead i haven't gotten pimples in this area in like a year so it's really like surprising and like bothering me so i might put on some makeup because if i'm gonna be in front of a computer screen for like seven hours i need to look pretty um i need a shower um i need to fix my hair and i'm gonna cover my acne and we're gonna get started with school Right now, I'm just putting on a detoxing mask. I don't really know what detoxing does, but I know it does something. My skin has been breaking out really bad, and I don't really understand why. Before, my skin was breaking out because I ate a lot of dairy, so I took off dairy. But then, when I took off dairy, I started breaking out even more. So, like, I don't know if my skin hates cheese or not. Not even just cheese. Like, I took off... I haven't drank in real milk in, like, almost a year. I'm gonna look my little bad life. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear yet. Obviously, the bottoms don't matter because I'm gonna use the same shorts I slept with. But at least I can pick a pretty shirt. So I tried to color coordinate my closet. So like red, oh no, white, red, um, blue. And then I have, look how much black shirts I have. I literally need more color. And then it just went to like two green shirts and then that's a dark blue shirt. And I have all these black shirts. You can't even see them. Why am I so boring? Should I just wear a hoodie? I have this Powerline sweater that I got from Hot Topic like my freshman year. This is big, bro. Like, I got this. Yeah, freshman year of high school and I was small. Like, I really, this was really a dress on me when I had it. I've worn this shirt so many times and I've gotten so many compliments when I get it. I remember this cute teacher, he gave me a compliment and I was like, oh my God, he loves me. I'm gonna get an A plus. I'm gonna just wear the hoodie because I don't think I've ever worn this to school. Also, I really want to cover my skinny arms because my arms are um skinny. So this helps. Okay, we're back, and I only have 30 minutes to get ready. And I have, um, like, fries and those little mini corn dogs. You know those little pizzas? They're like mini corn dogs, and I put them in the oven. I'm so unhealthy in the morning. I'm so quirky and unhealthy. I just love that for me. So I'm not going to do too much makeup. I'm just going to cover this and that. I'm just going to cover, like, the most areas that have acne, because that's just not pretty. I'm just kidding. Acne is the most beautiful thing in the world and we have to embrace our differences also it's crazy how when i first got here to vegas i was like is this the right one i was like so sad and like i literally cried every single day coming back from school so i just wanted to be homeschooled so now because of this pandemic everyone is homeschooled so that's kind of weird how i manifested that i don't know just going to that school every single day made me sad and obviously i still went there and did my work it's just i hated that school and there's not really that much options here for me because i also don't want to be a new person in different schools every time i just don't like it they said that the first semester is going to be online school but i don't know it depends on how things work out and it just might be up for everything it's just crazy how it feels like just yesterday i was a freshman it's just weird how you like plan it ahead like you keep telling yourself, okay, I have this many years of high school, this many years of high school, and now this is my last year of high school. And I still don't know what I'm gonna do in my life. But yeah, it's currently 6.36. I start school at 7.05. I think I'm gonna put on some blush because I look really fake right now. Do we even need school supplies? Because I did not go back to school shopping. I just thought like everything's gonna be like Google documents and stuff. I still have all my pencils from last year. Surprisingly, I literally like every single time I finish school, I finish the year with one pencil and I have a whole pouch because I don't have any friends. I put more powder on top of like the pimples to like dry them out. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but I like to think it does because you know, powder on top of oils. Okay, it's now. 6.53, I have to start locking in and stuff. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Where am I even gonna do school, here? It's literally 6.59 and I start school at seven. So that's pretty cool how I'm late on duty the first day. Don't, 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 don't do it. I think everyone in my class are freshmen because my first period is PE. And I'm so confused. My class Welcome to the 2021 school year. 
are you ready to ride like a cowboy to the virtual school? <laughs> I also have a pack of paper. This is from last year's school supplies I never used, so I'm gonna just draw. Am I the only one that used to draw like eyes? Like randomly in class, I would just start drawing eyes and like eyelashes. Anyone? Did anybody do me? Okay, we saw okay. Look, I drew an eye. <gasps> I should tell them to stream dynamite. Stream dynamite, yeah. Can they even see me? I'm gonna be like this. Just stream dynamite. Stream dynamite. Thank you. I didn't know we were able to turn off our cameras, so I just turned it off right now and I'm eating my food that I made so far. We've just been talking and like showing little videos. Oh my god. That's period one. This is how it looked like when people look at me. And I'm about to start my second period and it's English. And I'm kind of nervous because English teachers can either be mean or very nice. So far my English teacher is really nice. I don't know why I was so scared. It's not like she could beat me up or anything. We're just talking about like how we're gonna do a school this year. Everyone here is so shy. Like I'm like one of the two people who have their camera on. So... Stop being shy, you're not ugly. So I just finished my second period, now I'm about to go to my third, and that's Spanish. So time to be Latina. We have like the last 10 minutes of class to like ask questions. If you don't have questions, you could just leave and go to the next class. So it's like almost like hallway time. So I'm just, I didn't have any questions for my second period, so I just left. Also, there was another teacher in my second period, so I, I don't know if that's like a helper. I don't know, but it's a second teacher. And she complimented my hair, so I'm feeling very pretty today. So school ends at 1.40 p.m. and it's eight. So we have nine, 10, 11, 12, five more hours to go. So I'm gonna just update y'all at the end of the day instead of at the end of each class and just give a giant summary of the whole day. So yeah. Guess who's finally done? Guess who has literally sat in this chair for literally seven hours? Me, obviously. 12 seconds later. So it's been seven hours. I've literally sat in this chair and it's not even like a comfy chair. It's not like a little comfy gaming rolling chair or whatever. It's a chair from my dining room. So it's like wood and like stiff. Okay, so overall, that doesn't sound right. Today felt really fast, but now that I'm thinking about it, it kind of didn't. I feel like what really makes school feel long is because of how many times you have to switch classes or how many times they mention the time, I guess. Like they tell you like, oh my God, 10 minutes this, 30 minutes that. Like I think that's what makes it feel long. It doesn't feel that long. I sat in this chair for seven hours and it felt like I did it for 30 minutes. Most of the time was so awkward. I was one of the two people in every single class that would turn on their camera. Luckily for the last class, it was like 16 people and like, six people turn on their cameras everyone else was just quiet so when the teacher would be like can everyone hear me i would be like and he's waiting for everybody else but they don't want to say anything so then it's just me standing there that's probably the only downside how everyone thinks they're ugly all of a sudden and they don't want to show themselves also fun fact it's actually really really sad fact i've always wanted to do homeschool so i don't know why i'm complaining i'm gonna go play fortnite with my friends now because I miss playing Fortnite with them. Also, this video is very different, so hopefully y'all like it. I'm trying to like expand my content because I don't want to like stand and like do makeup for the rest of my life. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you made it to the end, thank you. And if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.